Faith Church, it's Tuesday, May the 4th. If you're a Star Wars fan, may the 4th be with you. Uh, it's a rare edition of a Tuesday House to House. And um, if you're reading with us through Ecclesiastes, I, uh, I really hope you are. It's not, the, um, it's not the most cheerful book in the Bible, but it's, it's profound. I, I, a friend of mine told me the other day that this is his favorite book in the Bible. And uh, chapter six, which is today's reading, I mean, I just, I, wow, I just wanna read you part of it, what he starts off saying in, in, in this chapter is, you know, if you live a long life and you have a lot of children, a full family, and you have a huge funeral, but you didn't really know deep joy in your life, he says, it'd be better if you were stillborn. That's uh, it's quite, a st it's quite a thing to say. He goes on, and I'll, let me read you just a couple verses. He says, and this is from the message paraphrase, so a little different language. Even if someone lived a thousand years, make it 2,000, but didn't enjoy anything, what's the point? Doesn't everyone end up in the same place? We work to feed our appetites. Meanwhile, our souls go hungry. So what advantage has a sage over a fool or over some poor wretch who barely gets by. Just grab whatever you can while you can. Don't assume something better might turn up by and by. All it amounts to anyway is smoke and spitting into the wind. I mean, wow, good morning. You know, this is, this is pretty dismal. And I read that this morning and I began to reflect you know, is, is that really how it is? Is it really as bleak as that? And then I just sensed God's, God's spirit saying to me, you know, apart from Christ in my life, if I didn't know Jesus and didn't know his grace and love, at the end of my life, what, what would I have? And the answer is nothing. Um, my life really would be like smoke there for a minute and then just, just gone after that. And, um, you know, the writer of Ecclesiastes says earlier, we come into this world naked and all of us, we leave it naked too. Stripped of every accomplishment, every possession at the end of our life is just gone. It's taken away. It's, it is like smoke. And our lives, even though we may live 70, 80, 90 years in the perspective of eternity, it's nothing. Um, and some people might find that really a bleak message and, and, it, and it could be, but two quick things this morning. One, um, I found myself filled with incredible gratitude that that does not describe my life. Um, that because of Christ, nothing that I have earned, but because of his grace and love, that this isn't true of me. At the end of my life, um, those, those things which will be taken away from me are not what's important about me. It is that I, my life is hidden in Christ, as Paul says and that uh, the treasures which I possess, um, even in the hardness of this life, um, will not be taken from me. And that there's joy even in the midst of some of the, the desperation that we face and the, 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 the temporary parts of this life. Um, psalm 94, which was the psalm today, talks about how God is our rock and our refuge, that we can find our place in him, that nothing will, will, will be able to, uh, to change that, that we have security, identity, and purpose and meaning in him. And so that the words of Ecclesiastes do not have to apply to us in Christ. But secondly, it reminds me that for many other people that they do, that the, for many in our world that, uh, who don't know Christ, who have who, to this point resisted Christ's love and grace, this is, this is their fate. Uh, and so we have, this, this is why we are called to bear witness to those in our world um, who, who don't know Christ today, that, I, that my life might be a light to others to say there's a different way to live, a uh, deeper joy that doesn't leave you at the end of your life with a life that just vaporizes like smoke. Um, so in some ways, Ecclesiastes, by giving us the alternative, also shows us the, the hope that we have in Christ. Um, and so be grateful today um, and, to, and to continue to pursue Christ and to know the joy that he has for you. Uh, I'm grateful for this community of, of Christ followers that we can seek this together. I um, hope you are encouraged today. I hope that you sense 
the love of God your Father and the grace and peace of Christ, uh, his Son, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Peace.